Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. As always, first we go to the weather. And today it has been about three or four degrees below, which is actually about seasonal for around here, which is good because we're coming off of a brutally cold week. Uh, we had about four or five um, days with extreme cold warnings with temperatures in the minus, about minus 30, with the wind chills reaching into the minus 40s. So thank God that's over. It even melted a little bit today. So we're gonna be taking it day by day and hopefully things just keep getting better. But anyway, enough of the weather. Let's get to the video. So I saw online that the local dealer had a brand new 2022 Fat Boy on their showroom floor and I thought I got to go out and have a look at it myself. I know I did a video before just on the first thoughts after seeing it online but this was the first time I got to see it in person and I actually ran into a viewer of my channel out there which actually surprised me because I don't think too many people around here actually watch my videos but uh, I actually have more people in Australia watching the videos than I do in Canada. So shout out to everybody in Australia because that's a place I'd like to visit sometime. But anyway, uh, I had a look at it and actually I talked with, uh, with this viewer for a while. Uh, if he's watching, how you doing? Uh, he had bought a 2021 Fat Boy in the Vivid Black. So before I get to the thoughts on, uh, on seeing this bike in person, let's get to the video. So as you guys can see, that was a uh, 2022 Fat Boy in Reef Blue. And the first thing I will say is that um, I wasn't real impressed with the colors uh, when I was looking at them online. However, seeing the, the Reef Blue in person, it's a very sharp color and it actually, it actually uh, kind of like it. Uh, you don't see too many blue Fat Boys out there, but uh, that was a very nice color. Um, as for the other changes, um, you can see that they have the one gas cap is now gone. Um, they only have the one instead of the two. That I can take or leave didn't really make a big difference to me. Um, you saw the badging, uh, the new badging, and I'm still, I don't know, it's just not for me, I guess. I always like the, the double wing emblem. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing, but I like that more than than what they have now. But uh, the big issue that a lot of people have been talking about is the wheels. And the wheels now have the cutouts on them, which you saw in the video. Um, I can take them or leave them, really. Um, doesn't make a huge difference to me. I still like uh, the 2021 model over the 2022. Um, the uh, other gentleman I was I, I met out there, um, he had said that it to him he liked the wheels. It wouldn't stop him from buying a 2022. Um, and actually, the reason he bought the 2021 was because they switched from that satin finish to the chrome. Um, now the one thing I will say with those wheels, looking at them, it looks like they're going to be a lot harder to clean. Um, 
if you've seen um, the fat boy wheels you can kind of see a, a bit of them down here where these cutouts are on the wheels um, those are kind of a textured rough uh, finish which uh, dirt bugs tar all that stuff sticks really well to them and they're not easy to clean with the cutouts on these wheels you've got a lot more of that rough surface that's going to catch a lot more bugs and dirt and grime um, now the gentleman I talked to he actually said that um, he would use a, uh, a very um, uh, an, a little brush basically a soft brush and some water seems to seems to work pretty well so you know other than the cleaning uh, I guess I can kind of take or leave the wheels now other than the changes the little changes of the wheels the badging uh, the gas cap really it's pretty much uh, other than that it's really pretty much the same as the the 2021 um, they did keep the chrome which is a good idea um, other than that there's those changes and that's basically it um, going forward into the next few years uh, I would expect Harley to keep the the cutouts on the wheels keep the same badging um, I don't expect them to really change much in the next few years um, unless they have a lot of complaints or a dip in sales which I don't think they will have they'll probably keep it the same so if you don't like the wheels and the badging you're probably going to be stuck with them for for at least the next little while uh, I also think that in the next two to three years Harley is going to come out with uh, the fat boy and the 117 motor uh, I think probably next few years most of their models will come out with with a 117 that's probably their next step they've got it on a few of their ST models and I think they'll be going forward with that now do I think they'll be fat boy ST no because ST stands for sport touring and I don't think they're going to make a sport touring fat boy however um, I didn't think they'd make a low rider that they would call a touring either and I would hope that no one at Harley design is sitting there thinking you know what we need we need some hard clamshell bags and a fairing on a fat boy and we'll call it an ST please don't do that bags on a fat boy are fine it doesn't need a fairing because to me if that, that is not a fat boy I am sorry and if Harley if you're listening which I know you're not but if you're listening and you want to make some sort of performance type fat boy I think you should make a CVO model because it's been a while since we've had one of those in the fat boy and god forbid you know you don't have a street glide or something as a CVO model for a year but that's where I see the Harley going into the future so basically that's my short little critique of the 2022 fat boy model myself being a fat boy connoisseur as I've had four already um, not a lot uh, really has changed I guess the like I say the the wheels are a little different the badging is different and there's they lost the the guy one of the gas caps that's about it other than that it's basically the same as the 2021 uh, and and like I said before I do think the blue that reef blue is actually pretty sharp when you see it in person but anyway that's it for this week and I hope that if any of you out there still have snow on the ground like we do here I tell you I am praying for you let's hope that soon the Sun shines and we can get back to riding again but anyway we will see you later.